Hello, everybody. It is me, Alex, from Ashen Wings TCG. And do we have a game for you today? It is the top eight of our Part the Mist Fail Clash Bash. And I have the wonderful, wonderful honor of casting one of the matches here against Nathan and Dat Wheezy. So let's go ahead and take a look into their first game of the match, which is Nathan on Olympia and Dat Wheezy on none other than Shiana Diamond Gemini. And here we have it. Looks like we've got the Shiana into Olympia game starting here. Shiana being a hero that you can utilize any specialization in any hero's world. So very, very happy to see Shiana in this Clash game. Clash is very big on specialization, so it's very cool to see a Shiana being played. And of course, we have seen Olympia as well over on Nathan's side. Uh, Nathan went ahead and piloted a lot of Olympia in our last Clash Bash. So if you missed those, go check those out as well. But this is the first time we're seeing Shiana in our Clash Bash. Looks like turn zero for Shiana was pretty simple. Just a you know, little bit of Shiana tech there. And now we're going to see whether or not Olympia can do a little bit of a clap back on their turn. Now, Olympia's strategy here is mainly just going with the hatchet hatchet concept, you know, giving some wagering every now and again to help out and get Olympia some gold. But the prize Galia is really the reason why Nathan loves playing Olympia, because it just blocks too. It's a, probably the best blocking warrior helmet in the entirety of the game right now. And so having that opportunity to go ahead and use that there is great in case you need to use an attack reaction for anything. But here we go ahead and we get our hatchet of body and just swing in with that hatchet of mind afterwards. And it's going to be for seven. Luckily, we get that additional pump for everything here with the hatchet of minds. So they block out for seven. So no damage goes through. But Nathan is set up with an agility token on their turn, which is very, very nice. Now we go ahead and see whether or not Shiana's got anything to do with their two card hand. Looks like they pop the cross strap and Goliath Gauntlet for a Endless Winter for 10. Now, this is not a fused Endless Winter, it looks like. So you're going to be able to block out with everything and not worry about any kind of uh, frostbites on the defense side. But you do still get the ability of the on hit if it does hit, regardless of whether or not it is fused. So in this situation, just to block out any kind of frostbites, it seems that Nathan's using a lot of his armor and then also a few cards from his hand to block out most of that damage and give him a good turn. He kept the yellow in hand, so that way he can utilize this hatchet of body into the hatchet of mind with that agility token he has. Very, very good job there and just making sure to block efficiently and get to still come back with five damage. But five damage is only a little bit when it really comes down to the power of Shiana. Shiana uh, in Datweezy is definitely running a little bit more of a uh, go tall guardian style Shiana. This is a mix of pretty much every guardian that's ever been in flesh and blood. So we have an endless winter here again. This time it is wagered with the good time chapeau destroying a gold. And that is going to allow for uh, more additional tokens to be put on Shiana's side, getting some vigor, some mites and so on and so forth. But this is a pummeled endless winter, significantly worse. And it looks like uh, Nathan wasn't expecting the pummel in this situation. Now, obviously, you wouldn't know a pummel is coming in Shiana, but two damage is going to leak through in this. They're going to go ahead and get a Might of Vigor and a Gold because of the, um, the Good Time Chapeau there and take a little bit of damage, have to discard that last card. So simply a draw pass for Olympia. Moving back over to Shiana, we're expecting another very, very big power play here. Looks like it's a Shakedown. Shakedown for seven. Now, they get the Might token from this, which gives it to seven, but we're not sure if they have another attack reaction to play. They could pull this, but they instead play up the ante, the Olympia specialization, none other, to give it some additional power and also get more tokens onto the board with that play. So they're pitching an amount there to give them just a little bit of extra damage overhead and get some great tokens out of this too. So they got now they're up to three gold and a vigor for their next turn. And unfortunately, there was only a red in Olympia's uh, hand. Went ahead and just arsenaled that Iron Song response. Couldn't really do much in regards to attacking and wanted to keep that arsenal for that special attack reaction play. 
They also, Olympia does not have any more armor to block with, so any on hits are really detrimental to Olympia now, but that Oasis Respite in hand is probably going to help for quite a bit of this. They're going to go ahead and pitch to the gold to get some draw power, but there's a visit the gold main estate, another victor specialization, therefore making it three additional might and more gold for Shiana. These might tokens are just stacking like mad, which are really going to help with her go tall play style. But here we go. They go ahead and play the Mage Master's boots to bring out a Spark of Genius, play Teclo Core from their deck, and then attack with the Lessons in Lava. It's a very difficult hero to navigate Shiana because she could just come in with anything. There could be literally any kind of ability inside that deck. It could be Arcane. It could be Big Go Tall stuff. It, it, you know, there's there, it could be anything in the situation. But they go ahead and they swing. There was no real AB defense. There was no Oasis Respite played there for the Lessons in Lava. So they got to just continue to move on with their turn. Now, how Nathan's going to come back from this is very, very, you know, it, it's, it's hard to look at it because a lot of Olympia's turns care about making sure to be able to attack with Hatchet and then attack with the other Hatchet. But Shiana can come back with more power than both of these hatchets can do on a normal turn, especially if most of the turns are, you know, block out with your whole hand and only have a couple cards left. You need to have a good setup for these hatchets, and it looks like Shiana's just got the answers, right? Dad Weezy's just absolutely doing it. Buzzsaw Trap coming in. This is a pumped up hatchet of body, which means Buzzsaw Trap does activate its ability to bring it back down to two, fully blocking it out. And because there's no on hit, Refraction Bolters isn't able to be activated. So that was the only thing they could do. And they kept that Oasis Respite in hand. Now, two up the antes in the hand of Olympia and a blue edge ahead with an Oasis Respite. Very, very difficult plan to navigate. But it looks like they're coming in with a Starstruck for 13 go again and being wagered with the Good Time Chapeau. Incredibly powerful on hits, incredibly powerful token generation to be able to give additional damage and also additional resources. We're seeing the Oasis Respite be played. They're blocking six. They're going to gain a life, but they're just going to take a little bit of damage. But look at all the tokens that Shiana is generating on a regular basis. It's at least one might, one vigor and a gold almost every single turn. And that's because of the good time chapeau. Good time chapeau. You just need to destroy gold to be able to um, go ahead and pretty much wager stuff if i recall correctly you have to destroy gold but speaking of destroying a gold we have the golden sun here the golden sun is going to be a wonderful victor specialization inside this deck especially when you're making this much gold because you can destroy that gold to have this come in with overpower which means they can only block with one action card now luckily warriors do have a lot of attack reactions and that allows you to block additionally with those but it gets pummeled. Now Olympia is down to three, one card in hand, just trying to eke out some damage, see whether or not they're willing to block this Hatchet of Body. If not, it's going to be Pop Bolters, go into Hatchet of Mind. They do also have the um, Iron Song response in the arsenal there, which very well could be played in reaction to them blocking with something, but didn't end up working out. They weren't able to pop anything through. You kind of want to save those Iron Song responses for trying to get the kill. But here looks like it's just another wonderful specialization in regards of Shiana. This is the Bet Big a Betsy specialization in which if it hits, uh, you get a whole bunch of tokens in regards to its wager. Um, but it looks like you're not wagering. It looks like this Bet Big is not wagering. Uh, I could be it could be a mistake on Shiana's end, uh, but looks like didn't anything. Nothing wagered out. They were able to get an agility token off of the take it on the chin here on Olympia's end. So they're going to be able to do their turn where they come in for five damage and go for the best. It doesn't look like Shiana's too phased by it with a full five card hand. And Bet Big again coming in, this time being wagered. So we have a wagered Bet Big now. If this does hit, even if Olympia goes down to just one, if this hits, Shiana gets a lot of tokens. And there's the pummel for an additional two damage. Look at all those token generation just strictly off of that, that hand. Now down to one. Anything with Dominate 
will completely ruin Olympia's game plan here. There's nothing that much they can do about it. Two blood run wines, a take it on the chin and a hold him in hand. So you have to make sure to at least keep a blue and get that agility token from take it on the chin. But here comes a shakedown. Shakedown only getting its ability when an attack reaction is played. So take it on the chin gets played. They block five, hoping to block it all out. But up the ante, the Olympia specialization takes it for the win for Shiana. And sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. I, I could not imagine there's anything more debilitating than seeing your own specialization be the doom of your game one. But it looks like, you know, with the completely insane power that came with heavy hitters and all the specializations, Shiana got an insane buff into this game. And Clash is Shiana's playground with all of these specializations. So very exciting game. I'm very curious to see what game two is like. Game two, Shiana is going to be retired from Datweezy's roster and Benji is going to be taking their place. So make sure to go ahead and check out game two to see whether or not Nathan can come back for a win and tie it up. Or will Datweezy move on to the top four of our Clash Bash Part the Mist Vale season? Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all in our next video. Just remember to continue having fun in the flesh and blood and we'll see you all there. Ooh.